Hello there, welcome to Railway Man's 2013 Model Train Review. This is my first video of a model train review, and today I'm going to be showing you the Rock Island Line Shark Nose Locomotive made by Tyco. If you've seen the previous video I uploaded one or two videos ago, you would have seen this locomotive here. Now, uh, this is made by Tyco. Like I said, it's in the Rock Island line livery. The uh, shark nose locomotives were uh, real diesel locomotives. I think they were built by Baldwin Locomotive Works. I'm not sure, but if uh, anybody really knows for sure, you can leave uh, me the information down below in the comments down there. Anyways, get on with the uh, review. Now this train was prob well this locomotive was probably made in 1970s 1980s ish, but uh, it's got pretty good detail. Uh, you know, it was it's nice. Let's uh, we'll get started by looking at the trucks. Now, as you can see on the trucks, it's got very good detail. It's in fact it is from the 70s or 80s. Uh, you can see the wheel bearings and springs, things to do with the brakes. You can see the brake shoes here and there. Really nice. Now, if you move on up from the from the trucks up here, you got a nicely molded in detailed door along with some windows here, and what looks to be a ladder there with some steps going up to the door. Now, it's a very unique locomotive, and I really like it. I know some of y'all people probably ain't the biggest Tyco fans, but uh. I have a friend of mine, he's probably in his 50s or 60s, but he has a model railway layout and his, his is built with a lot of Tyco locomotives and rolling stock along with some other stuff in HO scale. Even a couple old line hill, pretty neat. Um, <clears throat> but uh, moving on to the very front of the locomotive, you got the old Tyco couplers here. You got operating headlight along with the Rock Island Line logo on the front as a... Uh, I know it's showing up backwards to you all viewers, but uh, it says Rock Island Line there. And uh, moving on up, you got the windows here. You got a nice, simply applied horn on top, along with the exhaust vent and a couple of other things on top, along with the rivets around the roof. And down, uh, if you go back here, you got a molded in vent that's kind of hard to see. But, uh, as far as this locomotive goes, I'm not sure if it's. I, I, I'm not sure if this livery is prototypical of the locomotive. Um, I know different railroads like the New York Central or the Pennsylvania. I know they operated um, sharp nosed locomotives on freight trains and things. But uh, like I said, I'm not sure if this livery is prototypical. However, Tyco did a good job, and I really like it. Um, if you look along the sides here, you got nice molded in rivets that you can actually feel along with different vents along the side. And right here on the back, you got another ladder going up to a door here. On the rear of the of the unit, you have another molded in door along with two what looks to be lights, I guess. But uh again, trucks are about the same, nice details, nice nicely detailed fuel tank and also on the rear you got the same coupler as is on the front right there like I said this is uh, my first rail model rail locomotive review uh, I'm mainly a HO scale railroader however I do collect a couple of line L O scale models uh, along with I have six or seven N scale I'm only 16, so I'm kind of new to the hobby. I have grew up watching Thomas, and uh, goodness, I have probably about 250 Thomas trains <laughs> in my room on display. Uh, I may do a couple of reviews of them later on, but uh, I have a new Bachman Berkshire I got for Christmas, this past Christmas. So I might do a review of it next, or the Tyco Golden Eagle. But anyways, this is my first railway review. For Rail this is Railway Man 2013, thanking you for the view of this video, and I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. This is Railway Man 2013, signing off.